The year is 1978, and the Sheehy is Michael Sheehy, Austin Stax, Tralee, and Kerry. Kerry Double. One of those great matches in that long series that they had in the 70s. Now, remember the circumstances. Early in the game, Dublin looked completely on top. And then Kerry came back at them. Yeah. Jerk Power was on a ball, played through by Jack O'Shea. Cullen came out of the Dublin goal and didn't seem to do all that much. But the referee seems well placed, blows up, gives a free to Kerry. Dublin defender hands the ball to Mikey Shea. I remember it well. She has the ball down in a flash. Colin realised there was something wrong. And he's tearing back to the goal. She executes a little chip shot. Colin is backpedalling as fast as he can. But he can't make it. And the ball is nestling in the net. Now, no, no seats here at the canal end in those days in 1978. But there were a quarter of a million or more people no more than 10 yards away from where she took the shot. Well, at least it's swear they were there anyway. All because they wanted to be part of one of the great moments in Gaelic football. Yeah, he was some skillful player, Mikey Sheehy. You know, if there was a lace in the ball, he'd take it out of it in front of your eyes and swear he didn't do it. Something else happened on that particular day that should really be up there, elevated on a podium of its own, and that is that Owen the Bomber Liston, the great Kerry full forward, scored three goals and two points in that All-Ireland final. Now, way back in 1956, Frank Stockwell of Galway had scored two goals and five points from play in the 60-minute final. 2-5 equals 11 points. Liston's 3-2 equaled 11 points. Now normally he'd be remembered for that fabulous score, but in 1978, the cheek and the expertise of Sheehy stole his thunder.